Happy New Year. I know it's been a long time since I've posted, but just trying to recover from the the holiday craziness. Rocky too. There's a lot going on in December for me. It's overwhelming and of course holidays is overwhelming for everybody. With that said, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season and and let's all get back to work. Have a great year. It takes us 365 days, six hours and nine minutes to make one revolution around the sun. If you've watched the 10th episode of Art, Mind, and Environment, you know rituals and celebrations are in abundance during December. On December 21st, 2022, in the northern hemisphere of the earth, we celebrated the yin of the sun. If you're not familiar with the yin and yang icon and its meaning, it's basically a concept that describes opposites with interconnected forces. 21 years ago, my wife and I chose to marry on winter solstice. With that said, in ways, my wife, an introverted accountant, complete number person, and myself, quite the opposite, artist, and very extroverted. We are a formation of that interconnected force. We yin and yang quite well together. Introducing an experience, an experience into the world of art. Let's take a trip, a trip into the mind. Let's take a walk, a walk through the environment, environments of art, creativity, and creation with Christopher King Jameson. I love to cook, 
probably just as much as I love to create art. I mean, it's an amazing creative experience. The process alone is a smorgasbord of senses. I mean, think about it. Touch, movement, smell, taste, sight, hearing, balance. It's all there. I use a transparent filler. It's kind of like the same type of material as gel medium, probably a lot thicker though. That I mix with my acrylic paints and I get the same translucent quality that you can get out of oil paints. I've spent a lot of money on really good brushes, and I love them, don't get me wrong, but considering the amount of abuse I give the brushes, it's much more financially worthy to buy hobby brushes from the grocery store, a penny compared to what I would have spent on high quality brush. You can easily spend anywhere from 15 to 150, even more euros on a on a brush, and I can destroy it within a couple of weeks. So I always keep five water bottles or containers, vessels. Always your yellows, your warms right here. And then I have a cool, lighter cools. Anytime I mix colors, I'll put, if it's a light blue, I'll put it in this water container. Same with the yellows and same with warm, uh, well, this is just darks and darks, mud and mud. And then this is a rinsing, uh, rinsing container, um, just after you clean them really well in the others. And yeah, that's it. My oldest sister, Stacy, always said that ginger root is the smell of life. In the studio, I have a smell of life and that's turpentine. It's all a process and an experience for a fundamental reason, for energy, for our bodies. 
plain and simple to live. Would you please choose a letter and a number? What's that, 14? 14? now and we are going to be climbing a lot today I have no idea what this is gonna be like there was no no fancy schmancy things listed or anything on the on the uh, on my research of Shunau so, or on the trail so you shall see what it's gonna be like okay mm -hmm.
Let's see where we are. So I wanna go this direction and supposedly there's some, it's called Shao, Shao Build. two drawings and it's getting really dark really quick and I got to get down off of this hill it's gonna take me about 30 minutes I, or less probably. we'll find out more at the car L14 finished. Thanks, Benny. That's cool. It's kind of a, a neat trail to go up. I would like to go run more there. And uh, yeah, so. That's all I got.